Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a custom AMI, that is Amazon Machine Images, and what's the benefit, and how we can utilize it, and how we can store it and save it in different regions, and how we can utilize those images, our custom images. So I'm, I will be just showing you one small example related to a web server. So I will install, in, I will install an instance, EC2 instance, launch an instance with a web server, and how we can utilize that image in order to launch other instances also. So just a small lab I will be showing you. But before we start, let's see what this Amazon machine image is a supported and maintained image provided by the AWS that provides the information required to launch an instance. So basically we can, uh, we or we, we will take the Amazon image and then later on like what are the installations or what are the um, like uh, prerequisites like uh, we want to install it in our uh, EC2 instance that we can define in the user data or custom scripts that we want to execute then and save those as a separate image. Then later on, utilize that image whenever we want it. So we must specify an AMI when you launch an instance. So while we are launching an EC2 instance, you might have seen we choose an AMI and uh, we can launch multiple instances from a single AMI when we require multiple instances with the same configuration. Like suppose we want to run several web servers so we can have the same configuration running at the same place rather than passing that user data again and again. So I can have my predefined image, you know, and I can utilize that image. So we can use different AMIs to launch instance when we require different configurations also. So means like we can have like a basic configuration similar and rest of things different. So we can also utilize those things in the image. So this is the whole life cycle you can say, like we create, we can have a snapshot or that can be saved in the instance store backed and we can register the EMI and then we can launch an instance from it. We can copy it, we can send it to different region. Uh, we can uh, provide to some other access, the owners and all we can define as well as we can deregister also. That is basically deleting the image we can also do that. So but what we need, we need to make sure that whichever region we are launching, that uh, the image should be available in the same region. Otherwise, we won't be able to do that. So we need to copy that image. So let's uh, go to the console. I'll show you a few things. So first of all, I will launch one instance. So that instant image, from that instance, I will create an image. So let's create launch instance. So my EC2. So you can see by default, I'm using this Amazon Linux. This is the image that has been provided by the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. And uh, yeah, I'm not making any changes. You can choose the key pair. If you don't have, you can create it your own key pair. And then Okay, security group, let it get create a default one. Allow the HTTPS traffic. And we can go to the advanced options. Why I'm not able to see the advanced option. Okay, here it is. So advanced details. So we'll scroll it down. I'm just going to add one user data over here. So I'll just add this one. So I'm just adding up to here that will just install Apache Web Server by default, and but it will not create any page and all. So I'm just keeping this portion only. For this, I will create an image. So I'm using the sudo and all because uh, sometimes, most of the times, what happens in my videos, many people are telling that this instance is not working. I'm not able to uh, access the instance and all. So most because I am using a root user account that is not recommended if you're using some other user you need to give permissions you need to assign the permissions roles to it if not then you can use this sudo command in order to elevate that so you you might have seen in my previous video i was not using the sudo but this is like on uh, many people like requesting like why it's not working and also i recommended them you, they can use the sudo command so we can just click on the launch instance Okay, we can go to the instances. So it's still running. So 
So we can click on this and we can get this address over here and we can type it over here https slash it will take time okay let's see okay i need to check that uh, security group also i just go to the security launch visit five okay let's check the in one rule okay it's fine let me refresh once It will take time. Okay, let's now do one thing. Let's check this one. HTTPS because the port number 80 will be there. So let's check the inbound rules. Okay. So I need to add the rule over here. Let's add over here HTTP and AT and anyway IP and that's it. Save the rules. Now we can just try over here. Yes, so our test page is working. Our server test page is now working. Now I will create an image of this my EC2 instance. I'll just go to the EC2 instance. Then instance running over here. I will select this one. Actions image create image. My EC two web server. We can also enable this no reboot and all those things. Okay, that's it. Uh, nothing to do over here so we can just click create image now okay We can go to the EC2 dashboard, launch instance. Now here I write my EC2 server. And here I can choose over here my MIs owned by me, you can see. It is showing my EC2 web server and that is the image that is having the web server already installed. So I'm choosing this one. And then T2 micro, my EC2, and uh, let it be HTTP. 
how we can edit this uh, or we can do one thing instead of using the new security group we can use the existing one i think that was launch visit five and next one we can modify it if we want it if any issues is there we can check the security group we can modify it now here in the advanced details so uh, as our web server is already up will be up in this image so i'm just going to add this one line so let me write this one copy i'll just copy the whole thing but i'll remove it because we did not do the steps again that's it okay so we will click on launch instance now this instance won't or something is wrong is pending cannot be run still the image creation is not done successfully so we will just go back to our ec2 instance so here let's check over here ami is over here my ec2 you can see it is still pending so we need to wait for this to complete this one we can refresh still it is pending you can just wait for two three minutes let it finish this one so now you can see the status is available so now i can use this image it you need to wait for approximate two three minutes in order to this image is getting created of that running instance so we will go back to our instances over here so we will launch an instance so we'll sub name over here and so my amis so you can choose this So I'll be using the existing security group and in the advance I'll be adding just the one line over here. Okay. So let's launch the instance. So successfully done. So when we go back to our instance, so as soon as it comes online running, so we can just copy this one and just type it over here, HTTP colon. Okay, it's running now. So you can see we got our test page. Uh, I think I did some mistake. It's not able to pull up the index page. What was the index so it has not created maybe you have to change something ah it's working now ah, it takes some time in order to execute that script so you can see this is what I have written now, it is returning. So previous one was only the test page of the Apache server, but this one, I just added just one line into the user data. That is this one, eco hello, just cloud tech, and from the host name. So that is the host name. If you check over here, 
you will get it over here the public one you can see private ip address 172.3190.140 so this is what we are getting over here so this is how you can utilize so i didn't install those steps of web server in apache web server because this was already added in my image so i just utilized that image and my server was up and i just added one index page and just it start working so this is how this is just a small example you can have like um huge number of steps to be done that you want to install any such like prerequisites you want to do it and get it done in one of the instance create an image and then launch the image and in launch an instance from that existing image so it becomes quite easier and it takes very less time so you can see your images over here so you can see this options over here, EC2 image builder. Then we have the actions, AMI permissions. So lots of things are there like deregister the AMI, change descriptions, manage AMI deprecations, register instance store back AMI. So lots of things are there. Recycle bin, if you're deleted, it will go to the recycle bin. From there, you can delete it permanently. So there are a few permissions are also there that we can we want to have it. Like currently it is private. You can also make it public with all the AWS users if you want it. So they can also utilize your image. Then if you want to share with certain account, you can use this option, add account ID, share with certain organization. You can just, or you ARNs, you can define it over here in order to share. So these are the basic things that you can utilize in order to share your AMI and maintain your different, different AMIs. I hope you like my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.